Hey folks, good evening. This is Cracker321. Boom. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was going to upload a video today. Uh, day went really fast between working and everything else. Um, I was going to upload some more pictures on a movie and talk a little bit about that. But then I came across this article, which is highly disturbing. Um, this is from Channel 7 News, New York. It revolves around Chuck E. Cheese, which I never really went to, by the way. But um, the character, or someone dressed up as the mouse, the rat, whatever the hell it is, <laughs> ignoring a two-year-old girl. And all she wanted was, like, a high five. Um, I don't know why anybody would do this. Um, this is just really sad. It's sickening. And, um, you should treat all children the same. Um, this is a very, very poor example of someone who has a job who should not have it. Um, as I just said, the young girl was two years old. So, and there's video on it. So, there's no, um, he said, she said. So, without further ado, um, it's titled, Mom Speaks Out After She Says Chucky Cheese Ignored Her Daughter. Let's hit play. Just how difficult is it for a costume character a little to give a high five to a little girl who is jumping for joy and just waiting for some kind of acknowledgement? Well, apparently it's very difficult, judging from yet another case Why of it this time this? at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant mm. in Wayne, New Jersey. Look at this her. case She's similar to the hand. recent episode at a Sesame Place Park. The family of the girl at Chuck E. Cheese says the apology they got from the, the manager girls there. fell short. Here's Darla Miles. Yo, that's messed up. In the video... There were a bunch of Caucasian children over there that were on stage that received the high five. My back child was the one to get ignored. This is one of two videos of Chuck E. Cheese ignoring little Safa Muhammad. Look at this. Old, invited to a birthday party at the Route 23 location in Wayne Saturday. The character gives one, two, She's three so high happy. fives to other kids, but leaves Safa hanging. But when she turned around, she just was excited to see him. She saw that he was giving all the other kids high fives and... She put her hand out, it was her turn, but he like put his hand in and then down and act like he didn't see her. Safa is only two years old. She Come doesn't get it on. and keeps trying. The incident comes on the heels of two similar incidents at Sesame Place in Philadelphia. In both, little girls of color are dismissed by costume characters. Look at this. In this exclusive interview with Eyewitness News, Natiana Muhammad says the experience was beyond hurtful, especially as a first time mom. That was actually my first time actually witnessing someone, you know, wow. ignore her or make her feel like she's invisible. In a written statement, Chuck E. Cheese says it's sad when a child has a less than perfect experience and says we want to thank the family who, who brought, brought this, this to, to our attention, attention and for giving the on-site manager an opportunity to apologize and address their concerns to apologize? in person. Gave the on-site manager an opportunity to apologize when she said, I'm sorry you feel that way? Was that the apology? The 29-year-old mother says wow. she did complain to management, who arranged a picture with Safa and Chucky. Her demeanor changed from she was excited, happy, jumping, high five, to when it was time to take a picture, just stood beside him. A harsh lesson for a two-year-old child wow. at a place where a kid can be a kid. I hugged her, told her that I loved her, and that she never has to beg for love because she is loved by many. So. Yeah. Why would you do that? Okay, let me get this straight. <laughs> you know, let me try to understand this. So you got these people, and I say these people because, in my opinion, that's too nice of a term to describe them. You got these creatures who are dressing up as Chuck E. Cheese, Sesame Street characters, and ignoring girls of color? Okay, wait a second. I got a 12-year-old daughter. And not to brag or anything, but she is of color. 
And um, if someone did that to my daughter, I would be beyond upset. That is disgusting, to say the very least. That is absolutely disgusting. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is my daughter right here. And obviously you can see she's a young lady of color. So, in other words, if that was my child, I should expect the same thing. Okay. One, you don't do that shit. Two, if you have a problem of, with different races, don't be in the damn job you're in. And three... Anyone caught doing that should be immediately terminated. Who the hell do you think you are to do that to a child, a baby, and all she wanted was a little high five? Who do you think you are? You are a poor excuse for a human being. To say the very least, you're garbage. And then when they show it at the end, the girl is so upset when the idiot finally decides to take a picture with her. Her arms are folded and she's looking away. Uh, yeah, how do you think she's supposed to feel? She kept jumping up, hey, hey, I'm right here. And you walked past her. You ignored her. And then there was another employee doing the same thing. Who the hell do you people think you are to do that? I don't care what character you're portraying. You have a responsibility to be a decent human being. These are children, babies, toddlers. And you make them feel less than what they really are? Because you have a hang-up? Huh. How can I put this? Go fuck yourself. That's how I feel. And sorry if I offended anyone, but you know what? Go F yourself. You are garbage, as far as I'm concerned. To do that... To an innocent child. What the hell planet did you live live on? Who raised you? Was you adopted? Mm. Not to give adopted children a bad name. Was you neglected? Was you dropped on your head? Was you picked on that much by kids? Now it's your turn to do it to some of someone else's child? You're garbage. You're pigs. And basically, at the end of the day, you should be thrown in the trash along with all the other garbage. And the funny thing is, there was no mentioning of the person who's playing the character that they were terminated. No termination, no suspension. Oh, we're glad you brought it to our attention. What? Uh, it's a damn shame. It really is. This is just another example of how bad this world has gotten. Now, if you take your little kid somewhere, you have to worry about how they're going to be treated by the color of this. Their skin. <clears throat> what? <laughs> 2022, we're still dealing with racist, inbred, ignorant mother effers? What? With everything going on, we're still dealing with this crap? I'm sickened by the whole thing. And um, to anyone who was offended by me using an F-bomb, well, one, I apologize. And two, I'm a parent. 
And as a parent, you're even more passionate. And just and you don't even have to be a parent. Just being a decent human being, you would know this is wrong. It's a disgrace. You know, that person should be fired. The same thing with the one who was in the Sesame Street Parade in Philadelphia. Who blatantly ignored two little girls of color. Go F yourself too. Mm -hmm. How you like those apples? This is Cracker 321. Boom. You can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram. Ron402513, Twitter, Crow with the knee 11700, Facebook, Way2712, and of course, we got TikTok. I'm so upset I can't even think right. We have TikTok, Cracker321, boom, one word. Have a good night, folks. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thank you for all your support. And um, I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. Peace. And to those people, again, who did that to those children, go F yourself. Good night.